اهلا وسهلا بكم في كورس ناس عم بالعربي النهارده بمنتهى البساطه هنبتدي نتكلم على الحلقات العمل الجزء العملي اللي يخص المدرب بعد ما خدنا الجزء النظري سواء من اي سي اي سواء من نسم سواء من ايس تعالوا مع بعض نشوف الحلقات العملي الخاصه بالتدريب العملي والخبره العمليه اللي لازم المدرب يتمتع بيها اهلا وسهلا بكم في الحلقه الثانيه من الجزء العملي الخاص بنسم الا هو في الدايناميك اسسمنت برضو الاختبارات اللي بنختبر بيها الديفيجن اللي ممكن يكون موجود بس دايناميك منها البوست من اسسمنت تخيل وانت بتلعب بوست زي كده مثلا على الكيبل كروس ولا حاجه ممكن يحصل بعض الانحرافات والاختلالات اللي مثلا هتلاقيها في المنطقه بتاعه اللور باك تمام والمنطقه بتاعه الشولدر وكذلك الهيد نفسه ازاي تقدر تسيطر وتقيم حاجه زي دي تقدر تعرف ايه العضلات اللي مشاركه في الموضوع والعضلات المسببه بكده يلا بينا نبدا الحلقه الثانيه البوشنج اسسمنت Right now we're going to get into our pushing movement assessment. The pushing movement assessment is a great complement to your overhead squat movement assessment, and then it allows you to identify your client's movement capabilities while performing a loaded pushing pattern. The nice thing about this is it allows us to see how their body responds and reacts to being placed under load, both at the trunk as well as in the upper extremity and neck. We're going to do this with tubing, but you can certainly do this on a cable machine as well. So for this particular exercise, we're going to have Vivian assume a staggered stance, so she's nice and stable. We're going to get one foot forward, one foot back. We want to make sure that the feet are lined up, knee in line with the toes and the hips. And then from the side, we want to make sure that her core is engaged. We've got a nice neutral position at the low back and the ribs. Moving on up, we want the head to be in alignment with the shoulder if possible. Now, in terms of arm and hand position, We don't want the elbows and arms up too high because if you press it forward, the cable or tube is likely to roll off of the arms and, and hit the neck. So we want kind of about a 45 degree angle between the upper arm and the trunk. We don't need to be abducted to 90 degrees. We don't need to be tucked in tight here to the side of the body. We want to split the difference on this. Okay. We want a nice, solid, stable position at the wrist. And then from here, we're going to have the client perform roughly 10 repetitions. And On that note, when you select a load, make sure that you're using a load that they can perform for about 10 repetitions. You don't want to be too light or too heavy. Now, from here, we're going to look at Vivian from the front. As she presses forward, we want to see, can she get a nice full extension through the upper body? We want to make sure, do the shoulders stay level or is there asymmetry? Is one side elevating, the other side staying, staying low? So make note of that. We also want to see with the head, is it staying centered, nice and neutral, or is there a lateral flexion or rotation to one side or the other? From the lateral view, we're going to be looking at her core, her shoulders, and her head as well. So as she comes back and returns to the starting position, we want to look at the shoulder girdle to see if there's any excessive shrugging or elevation as she returns to the starting position. Go ahead and press forward. As she presses forward, we want to see is there any excessive protraction or rounding of the shoulders as she comes forward as well as any protraction or protruding of the head into that forward head position. And then a key thing on this one is her ability to stabilize through the trunk while she is performing this pressing pattern. So particularly as the weight coming back and returning to the start, if your client has a difficult time stabilizing, they'll lose proper spinal alignment and rib positioning on the way back. So you want to make sure that you're watching for that as they return to the starting position. So we're looking at the hips and low back, في نهاية الفيديو أتمنى تكون قدرت كمدرب تعرف كويس جدا الـ 5 نيتك شينز اللي احنا أو بمعنى أصح الخمس نقط تفتيش اللي بندور عليهم اللي هم بيبتدوا من الكعب ودايما بيبتدي من تحت بعد كده الركبة بعد كده الهيب بعد كده بتتكلم على الشولدر بعدين النيك عشان تقدر تتعرف كويس جدا على الانحرافات اللي ممكن أثناء الديناميك أو أثناء التمرين ممكن تحصل للاعب بتاعك فبالتالي تقدر تعرف إيه هي المسل كومبنزيشن اللي بتقوم بدور تعويض قصادها عشان كل ده بنعرفه عشان الجوينت ستابيلتي والسيفتي في نفس الوقت وتطور من شيب الجسم والتمتع بصحه كويسه طبعا الحلقه الجايه هنوضح لكم ايه هي بقى العضلات المسؤوله عن الانحرافات دي احنا عرفنا خلاص نقيم ازاي بقى نقدر ايه نعدل الكلام ده كله اتمنى كانت الترجمه والصوت كويس لو عجبكم موضوع الحلقه بالشكل دوت يا ريت تدعمونا بلايك وسبسكرايب وشير عشان نكمل بقيه الحلقات لغايه لما نوصل للبروجرام ديزاين لكل الناس بتطلبه لو عجبك موضوع الحلقه تنساش تعمل لايك سبسكرايب شير عشان الكل يستفاد استنونا في حلقات تانية اجمل واحلى على قناتكم اي سي سي عربي كان معاكم احمد مجاهد اي سي سي ترينر